Hi guys, welcome back to the React Chase video tutorial. And in this video, we are going to learn about the get drive state from the props lifecycle method. So, which is uh, rarely used, but you must have to know about this because when you have something uh, blocker in your code, maybe this lifecycle uh, method can be help uh, help you. So now first of all let's check off check all the contents that we are going through in this video first of all we will learn what is the use of the get drive state lifecycle method and how it's work then we will make a child component pass some probes from the parent jump component to child component and after that we will play with the with this lifecycle method an example and i'm sure that after watching this video you will feel confident about this lifecycle method so stay tuned with us so first of all uh, what is the use of this lifecycle method so whenever you want to update your state uh, before the render method and the update with the condition of the props then it will very helpful all right so because this is always called before the rend render method even your component is loading as a first time even your component is just updating all right so this is a diagram that here you will uh, find some more theoretical part and you will get attached with it so when you are just component you are uh, mounting then after the constructor this is called all right and let's say some props are coming here and you want to update your state with the props then you can do he with here all right after this will go to the render and same thing with, uh, will uh, happening with the updating so when your uh, mount is updating uh, this is the first lifecycle method which is called all right so now let's start with the code if you don't have clarity then you will understand it better so this is my parent component i have a state with the val initial value is the zero all right so i'm just making a button and in this button click this state will be plus one all right so increment by the one you can see that all right okay so just make plus plus it will lot so helpful and here you will print this this dot state dot data all right so you can just make it um here now and uh, just make it uh, on click function on that you will just update this so i'm just going to choose like this dot set state and in the set state uh, data will be this dot state dot data plus one all right so for looking it more clearly i'm just uh, making in the next line all right so now let's check what's going on so whenever i'm just going you can see that this state is updating that's good so i already made a child component to save the time you can s you can see that here all right so i'm just going to import it here uh import home from home all right and just use it here uh just about to the button and i'm just going to pass a probe here with the name of data and inside the data this dot state dot data will be passed here all right so now i'm just going to the home component and i'm just going to use get drive state all right so just use here get drive state from props and here you have to pass the two parameter first fill the props and second is the state all right uh, no this is not uh, this dot state this is simply state and here we can do anything and this is uh, actually a static method so you cannot directly use it so that you must have to okay so i have to use it outside the render actually that's my bet uh, 
okay that's fine now all right so and you cannot use the this uh keyword inside this method because this function don't have the instant of your com current class or current function even right so now what i'm doing uh just i'm consoling the state and props so just props comma state all right and before that i'm just also want to define the state here so i just copy the code here and paste simply here to save the time a and current value all right so now uh just check the okay so i'm just going to make a console here i'm just going to print their hooks so that you can check that whenever it's calling and the same thing i'm just going to call here and here i'm just going simply call the render with this process you will get that uh which method is calling first of all all right so i'm just going to refresh then you can see that directly render method is called the reason being uh actually uh because there is a no state and no props is updated yet all right so all right uh actually reason is not that we must uh, i just uh, misspell the drive state all right so now this is fine and i have to just uh, return something here we can you can return 10 anything else that you want so let's check now you can see that hook is called before and render is called after that all right that means whenever i'm just going to update it then you will always see that hook is always update of uh invoke before the render function all right so if you want to update some state then you can here update here so let's say i am just want to update the current value here uh this dot state dot current value all right and just write here current value but you want to update this state behalf on the props this is the main use of your get drive state from the props all right that means your state is derived from the props all right so your state how you can update the state on the base of props and before the render method then this will actually going to work then you have to use like this and just use uh, put your state name which is the current value and just put here props all right and let's see you want to multiply it with the 10 all right so i think this is should be the props dot data all right now just i'm just going to make it then you will check that your data is updating here properly all right because uh this life cycle method invoked before the render and uh state is also updated before the render is updated all right so this is the best use and you can see that the best example of the get drive straight from props life cycle method so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe your channel thanks for watching this video